global grill was in our mind when while we were setting up the menu and the concept of the food they promise you the world on your table The history of grilling stretches back to caveman days when a brilliant ancestor of ours discovered that holding meat directly over an open flame for an extended period of time cooked the meat most likely cavemen stumbled upon animals that had been killed in forest fires around the globe grills are named differently beat in a tagine in north africa tandoors in india as though in argentina or schwenker in germany the techniques may be different but grill foods are universally delicious there's a very interesting saying that the world's first scientist is probably someone who learned how to cook when we think about it take a piece of meat put it over fire it's cooked science and grilling is probably as old as the human race there could be fire from beneath fire from above or fire from the side let's break it down fire from beneath may be like the classic cooking like a tandoor fire from above um let's think of a creme brulee fire from the side maybe a dona kebab that's the concept of roast down global grills they try to bring in grilling from across the globe under one roof down. we were giving um more importance to the experience that the guest is going to go through while from the time he parks his car and he enters the restaurant and the experience and the steps that he will go through while ordering while the food is being served while he is eating and also the time that we say bye to the guest okay so there was a lot of importance given to the experience part of it probably as old as the human race and was discovered maybe a million years ago if we dive deeper grilling is done over high heat whereas barbecuing is rather a slow process and takes a lot of time uh, primarily a grill means something which is cooked on a live fire fire which can be out of uh, ideally out of wood charcoal or these days of course we also use gas the global grill was in our mind when while we were setting up the menu and the concept of the food we also ha- have a, a kaluhi kebab we also have a, another turkish kebab so there are a lot of importance given to um, grilled healthy grilled and very flavorful items from different part of the world we wanted to give our customer a whole new experience in terms of food but at the same time we don't want him to uh suddenly embark on a completely different journey where everything is new to the customer so we wanted to have different things but at the same time familiar thing we kind of stuck to that principle in most of our choosing of dishes so to specifically to give you an example we have this uh, georgian baked bread called the kachapuri the name sounds very unfamiliar but uh, uh the georgian the, the kachapuri basically is it's 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 a very it's a little different kind of a pizza it is a baked bread in a in the shape of a boat which is filled with cheese we break an egg on top of it and serve it with a cube of butter so it is it is a pizza but in a different shape and it is stuffed so the idea of introducing kachapuri was of course one reason is to have something different at the same time to give a customer something that he can relate to or familiar with People love to eat. They find the social environment of restaurants the perfect break from cooking and relish the adventure of tasting from new menus. Restaurant business is one of the toughest to find fruit of success. Success of restaurants depends upon a lot of factors which include sourcing of raw materials, consistency and so on. Certain times we don't need to do big things to make a huge impact. It's a collection of a lot of small things that make something outstanding. At Rose Town 
it starts with a glass of water the focus on experience is uh, so high we also use uh, what is called the kangen water which is uh, which is a japanese technology um, whereby it is it is a kind of a filter so what the filter does is uh, it equalizes the pH ionizes the water and it equalizes the pH value of the water to retain it either at the at the neutral level or maintain it alkaline which is supposed to be very healthy so that much is the focus given to even for a water we don't use uh, bottled water at all we only use uh, kangen water we in fact went ahead and created our own garden kitchen garden from where we had we could pluck a sorrel leaf or a fresh kale leaf or or about 5 to 6 different types of lettuce we grew our own herbs let it be basil to an oregano to thyme to rosemary so we had our own stuff coming in so the idea was to give um make use of our kitchen garden where we have um fresh herbs fresh leaves fresh lettuce fresh kale you know which is not generally available everywhere so we what we did is we chose some uh particular salads where we can showcase our product say for example we have what is called a blue water caesar which is a traditional conventional caesar salad presented in a completely different way so we use lettuce from two types of lettuce from our garden we use um, garlic bread which is made here and we use seafood so similarly we also have um, a, a salad which is made with lots of leaves and roast beef just simply plain grilled beef mixed with lots of vegetables we only use animals which come from munar the idea was to get the marbling what is called the the proportion of the fat versus the lean meat right so that the meat after cooking it stays tender it, it tastes uh, juicier and tastier so we make sure that the meat is checked and uh, we buy meat only from them so is the case with our chicken we buy only um, quick frozen and farm fed chicken maybe we may be the only uh, stand alone restaurant in kerala city which uses about 8 to 10 different types of cheeses we imported them family is gathering around a fire and eating food is an age old tradition as we humans manipulate the use of fire in different ways in different parts of the world there is an endless variety of grilled food around us hand picking the best from those varieties demand a big time foodie's passion towards the food that's how food from around the world comes to rose town's menu most of our menu if you look at it it has uh, seven uh, chicken dishes which is from seven different places and it is marinated in seven different way and it is also accompanied with seven different types of accompaniment and seven different types of sauce so the food the dynamics of the food the variety of the food is uh, fabulous i mean it's it's like there is no end so creativity when they are there all that so soup yeah so what what we do is we don't have a thickening concept we only do is the puree and uh, we kind of uh, have made the soup into a show dish so what happens is the when you when a guest is waiting for the soup what you get is only the plate with the center garnish every yeah you pour it so that yeah 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 so that, that i mean it's nothing new but i think it creates and it helps us to serve it hotter also, it's fresh i think people get excited yeah yeah so so there is a show element done so we wanted to actually do more uh, even with the desserts but we are reaching there you know so it's uh, There is no bigger industry on our planet than food and agriculture with a consistent loyal customer base of 7 billion. To meet the changing demands and tastes of consumers that changed over several years, food joints have also come up with many innovations like presentation, new dishes, plating, services, etc. See, we are on a constant endeavor to um make sure that the food that we produce is uh, food for everybody all all types of people people who like spicy food people who like flavorful food people who want grilled food so we we make sure that whatever food that we choose is something which will be like i said it is different but it is familiar to the so you know many if you take our menu we have um, food which will taste good for a teenager or to a uh, one of the kind of a uh, somebody who's uh, mid aged and also an elderly couple you know so 
we have uh, sliders in our menu we have uh, gyros in our menu we have uh, and the best part about the roast town is that we are constantly undergoing innovation and uh, research and we are adding new things into the menu roast town we prefer and the one that you are in is a global grill we are going to travel in our family so global food is a unique place here in Trishur generally we have to eat What we have here is the Blue Water Caesar, which is their take on the classic Caesar salad with shrimp and squid. Here is the Meatball Panazzo from Naples, Italy, and the Chicken Mushkaka from Ethiopia. The soup is a broccoli and pine nut soup with no artificial thickeners used. They promise you the world on your table. This is just a fraction, the rest is on the menu.